John McCoy. Good night. How nice to meet you. I do very well, thank Good. you. Good. Uh, just be looking at your little pamphlet. Don't have yes. to read it. Now, how old are those are those fossils? Well, if I was speaking as an orthodox geologist, I'd say anywhere between 100,000 and 10 million, right? Up to 40 million, right? right? So the age is, 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 re is a product of our theories about how we view the world. It's not a product of facts, not a product of evidence. No, because, uh, you know, in my own geological research, I'm convinced that what Charles Lyell did to us all was give us a set of glasses to see the world through the past. It's not just carbon-14, though, is it? I mean, oh, no, no, it's just a lot. dozen different... It doesn't really matter, no, it because what you've got, got a is a philosophy. Yeah. You have to assume that the present is the key to the past, because well, you weren't there and I wasn't there. Well, that's true. So whatever age you yeah. get, or I get, nevertheless, starts with faith. But it's not just carbon-14, is it? Oh, I mean, no. there's potassium no, no. argon. And they all give the same answer, don't they? No, they well, don't. Carbon-14 wouldn't give you any more than 7,000. Okay, they, they overlap. They overlap. They overlap. You don't have to be there, do you? I mean, there are all sorts of things where, where we weren't there, but the detective work, the, the evidence... Well, your chief starting point up. is either history or a faith position that whatever the world is doing now, it's always done. So it's done. If there were only one method of dating, then you, you might have a point. But since there are so many and they overlap, and you've got dendrochronology, you've got carbon-14, you've got potassium argon, you've got uranium, and they overlap... Why are you so desperate? I mean, it, it sounds as though you're really on a losing wicket because I mean, there's, we've got geology, we've got physics, we've got astronomy, we've got biology, scientists and all these different disciplines converge upon an age of the earth which is about four and a half billion years. Well, it's really fair to say that we have a faith position and we try to make everything fit. I mean, there are so many different pieces of scientific evidence and they, and they all fit together. We don't have a faith position. If, if the evidence really supported a 6,000 year old earth, we, we don't really. Well, look, why, why do you apply this just to evolution? I mean, why don't you apply it to, to any, any other science? Why don't you believe the world is flat? The difference between 6,000 years and 4.6 billion years, it's equivalent to believing. You, you believe the world is 6,000 years. It's equivalent to believing the distance from New York to San Francisco is 7.8 yards. I mean, that's the, that's the scale of the disagreement. Like, nevertheless, Lyle was a Christian, and Lyle had problems with, with Darwin. Lyle was actually quite reluctant to believe to believe Darwin. I'm trying to, I'm trying to work out whether, whether you're for real, because I can't believe you're really sincere. I mean, I, I think you, you're trying to work out where you're, where you're coming from. You can't seriously believe what you're saying you believe. So I'm wondering what your, what your agenda is. Yeah, what about thorns? You know, are you one of those who believes that th thorns didn't come into the world until after Adam fell? If creation is true, or if evolution is true, how would you recognise the evidence if you fell out? Because my view of education is, if you can teach the kids how to think, you're miles ahead from teaching what to think. Because then they will be able to think, which is what this country and every other country in the West needs. Certainly all for teaching them to think. Good, great, excellent. We agree on one thing. <laughs> well, I'm not sure we really do, actually, but, uh, but still. There must be a lot of money behind you if you could put together three-dimensional websites. Yeah. Which countries is it tax-free in? Uh, it's tax-free in America, in England. I mean, you have your, you have your sort of reverse system. It's tax-free, I know. The the system, so so you, you have that. In America, it's a, a slightly different system, but yeah, the result is the same. That means that in Britain, you are, your own enterprise is supported by the British taxpayer, in like effect. Yeah, well, because you've got to remember the government got the money off the taxpayer in the first I place, so please that. don't say it's their money. <laughs> I, do, I, do, I do remember that. Good. So, in other words, what you don't see happening is not science. It's unobservable. And you were the first person you're to using the word PBS. C. You're, looking the, <laughs> you're using the word C as meaning C within one lifetime. If a phenomenon takes millions of years, of course you're not going to see it. Which means you have a faith position and, not, and you need to admit it because you have to you use other there. evidence from the the evidence of one man's eyes. It means you have oh, to look. Oh, sorry, Darwin was only 1859. That's only 150 years ago almost, right? And you haven't seen it, and I haven't seen it, so please stop calling it science. Teach it seeing, philosophy it's more history. seeing than just seeing with one man's eyes. You can see through geology size, you can see through instrument size. You know perfectly well that, that we have instruments that can measure things that the human eye can't see. Now you we're might back as well say you start. don't believe in electrons. Now we're back to the start because you have to assume what you're seeing now is always applied. I mean, that's your faith <coughs> position you can't to see remove electrons. Moses. You can't see electrons. And, and, and I mean, do you not believe in electrons?